They are co-defendants at the centre of allegations they conspire to hack phones and bribe public officials. At the time these pictures were taken in 2000, Rebecca Brooks and Andy Coulson were two years into a secret love affair, a relationship which would last till at least 2004. Prosecutors revealed those details not, they say, to intrude, but to demonstrate how close Rebecca Brooks and Andy Coulson were and how much they trusted each other. The jury was shown the draft of a letter found on Mrs Brooks' computer dating back to February 2004 and an apparent response to Mr Coulson's desire to end the affair. It read, the fact is you are my very best friend. I tell you everything. I confide in you. I seek your advice. I love you, care about you, worry about you. We laugh and cry together. In fact, without our relationship in my life, I'm not sure I will cope. Prosecutors say when that letter was drafted, Andy Coulson and Rebecca Brooks had been having an affair dating back to 1998 and spanning the period covered by the phone hacking conspiracy charge. Crown counsel Andrew Edis said when people are charged with conspiracy, the first thing that a jury has to answer is how well did they know each other, how much did they trust each other. Mr Reader said the fact that they were in this relationship, which was a secret, means that they trusted each other quite a lot, with at least that secret, and that's why we're telling you about it. The Crown claims that under Rebecca Brooks and Andy Coulson's stewardship, phone hacking was commonplace at the News of the World. Two of the most senior figures in the last Labour government were, it's alleged, victims of this practice. In April 2006, Tessa Jowell, then the Olympics minister, hit the headlines over bribery allegations involving her husband. Prosecutors say her mobile phone voicemails were hacked by this man, former News of the World private investigator Glenn Mulcair. The jury was shown an email sent by Mr Mulcair, which the prosecution claims outlined some of the information he found on Tessa Jowell's voicemail. It read, substantial traffic both ways, also looks like she's selling up. The special adviser to Lord Prescott also had her voicemails intercepted by Mulcair, it's claimed, as the tabloid looked for information of an affair the politician had had with his secretary. All eight defendants in this case deny the charges against them. The prosecution's opening argument will continue on Friday. Mark White, Sky News at the Old Bailey.